Hey, this is Rob, and uh, I'm just remaking a video that I made a while back for my digital fabrication students at FSU. There were a couple of mistakes in it that people mentioned in the comments, and I think I can make a uh, more uh, streamlined version of the video here with those problems fixed. I'll also mention um, there's this thing called the CNC Panel Joinery Notebook that is um, that shows you lots of uh, information about how to make joinery with um, plywood and, and uh, MDF and whatever other materials on a CNC router. This video is specifically to um, tell you how you might address this inside corner problem that they mention. So a laser cutter can cut a perfectly, uh, you know, for all intents and purposes, is perfect uh, 90 degree angle, and whereas a router having a, a round bit or end mill has to make these uh, rounded corners. So even if your drawing looked like the one on the left, it would come out like the one on the right. And that's a problem because you want them to, these two pieces to fit together like uh, flush like the one on the left, but they'll actually be more like the one on the right. They'll be um, not able to fit perfectly together. So there are a couple solutions. Uh, here's one version, here's another version. I'll show you a third version that looks maybe a little bit neater, but uh, any of the three will work and they're called dog bone fillets. Some software has this built in, and um, you, you can see that it now allows these to fit together flush. So uh, Fusion 360 doesn't have this feature built in, but it does have um, available an add-in. I'm not sure it's either an add-in or a plug-in that someone wrote, and I'll put a link in the description. It's brilliant, and it uh, does a great job of it, but I'll show you how you could do it yourself. So I'm going to make a circle on the uh, top work plane, and I'll um, just change to inches. Here, I'll make a circle that's five inches in diameter, and uh, I'll just start by making a center line here. And the reason why I'm doing that, I'm going to click on it and hit X to make it a construction line. The reason why I'm doing that is because I'm just going to draw half of my slot and then mirror it over the other side. So um, let's draw my half slot here, and uh, there it is. And basically, I'll just give it some dimensions. I'll say that this side is going to be one and a half inches. And what I'd like to do is say that this hide is going to be half the thickness of my material um, because, of course, this is mirrored, right? So the other half would make up the uh, other half of my thickness. So um, 0.75 inches is three quarters of an inch, and that's maybe a common size for, uh, for the material we might find. So I could put 0.75 divided by two. And, um, but you can imagine that I'd end up using these 0.75 and 0.75 divided by two all over my drawing. And so maybe this is an opportunity to use uh, user parameters. And so I'll create a user parameter called thickness and I'll make the value uh, 0.75. I'll also just think ahead and make one called bit diameter. And the bit I'm gonna use with this machine is going to be a quarter of an inch in diameter. So again, to illustrate the problem, if I uh, have my quarter inch bit here, this is kind of a top view of the bit coming into this material. You can see that there's a, uh, a radius corner over here. It can never really get right in there. You could choose a smaller end mill and it'll do a little bit of a better job. But um, if you really want these pieces to fit together properly, we use uh, these dog bone fillets that we're about to draw. So instead of putting 0.75 divided by two, I'm gonna put uh, thickness divided by two. And right now it's the same, but if I go in and change that value to say 0.5, you can see it'll adjust. And as my model gets more complicated, that'll be a huge benefit. So now we'll figure out how to actually make this uh, dog bone fillet. And um, I'll do that by creating a line. And I wanna uh, specify that the angle here, if I dimension it, I can make an angle of 45 degrees. And because this is only meant to be a construction line, just for helping me line things up, I'm gonna hit X and now it's become dotted. I'm gonna create a circle here. Uh, I'm not gonna do it in the center, even though it wants to do it in the midpoint of this line, that's gonna create a constraint I don't need. So I just moved over a little bit. And instead of putting in 0.25, I'm just gonna put in bit diameter. So I just set that up. And uh, now I can, do the last detail here, which is to say that the distance from that point to the center of my circle make an angled, uh, sorry, aligned uh, dimension. I can say that needs to be the radius of my circle. So bit diameter divided by two. And that's it. So what I'm gonna do now is just click on uh, these 
three things and mirror them uh, around that mirror line in the center. So there you go. And if I hit stop sketch, you can see that uh, I've got this interesting kind of pattern that's happening. It's, uh, it's going to cut out just, um, sorry, let's uh, drag this up so you can see. So it's, it's cutting this, this is where it gets the name a uh, dog bone fillet, right? So it kind of looks like a, a dog bone. And what you'd see is that another piece can fit perfectly in here and, um, and they would end up being flush if that was what I was trying to achieve. I'm just gonna go in and uh, make the other two types. So I'll go back to my sketch hit edit and uh, let's see we're gonna do the same thing here uh, you know maybe what I'll do is I'll just go back a couple steps I'll get rid of these circles for now or yeah let's do this I'll just create a circular pattern and uh, the objects that I'm interested in rotating around this circle are the the four lines that I made or the, the three lines that I made initially that's the center point and I'd like three of them, so I'll hit OK. So now I've got two others to play with. And um, the way that we do these is a little bit simpler. I could make a circle here and make it bit diameter. Again, if we look at the uh, notebook, you can see this version, which actually uh, should be pretty simple. We're just looking for uh, a few constraints to line this up. So one is that I want the center of this circle to be coincident with this and uh, it also needs to be tangent with the bottom here. So that's that. Uh, I, can, I can mirror it or I could do that again, but um, that's one version, right? So this, this is looking like uh, that version here. And the other version would be, I'll just do it on the same one instead of using the third one. Uh, the other version would be to do that same thing and I can, I can actually draw this on the line and that should give me a coincident constraint by itself. There we see the little coincident constraint. And then all I have to do is just do that same thing, make sure it's tangent to this other angle, to this other uh, line. So that's one, that's the other version, right? That's this one. So it's very easy. I'm gonna undo a couple times because I'd like to show you that uh, if you decided on that first version uh, with the actual kind of dog bones and you uh, were to press pull this and kind of model this thing in 3D, let's say it's actually gonna be thickness as the height uh, the other thing you can do is uh, create a pattern, a circular pattern, and choose as the object these two features that you just added. And the axis is going to be the, uh, the center of this um, circle, and I can probably use the, the center for my sketch. I'm not sure it shows the... Let's see, I think I should be able to, um, yeah, that's okay, that's the axis. And um, I don't need to suppress any of them, but it, you know, it's not showing it right now, but I thought it would. But I think if I just hit uh, okay, it'll add them. So that's kind of weird, I thought I'd see a preview. But there you can see uh, I've got all the, the fillets added. And um, I could, of course, go back to my original sketch, make a change and decide on the other kind of fillet and uh, the way that Fusion 360 works, of course, is that when you change that, everything in the timeline gets adjusted. So it should adjust all of my uh, fillets to, to make that new uh, kind of dog bone fillet. But this one's kind of, I think this one's probably the best. If you have the others that go out through the side, maybe you have some other options. Uh, you could use half dowels to kind of hide this uh, after the fact. Or of course, you could just stick with uh, the original problem and use a file or a chisel and kind of straighten this out. But the idea is to kind of let the machine do the work, and um, and I think you know this actually kind of becomes a signature of a CNC router joinery. Um, and if you look in this uh, CNC panel joinery notebook, you'll see lots of others, uh, other solutions for uh, how to connect these things together in interesting ways, rather than just um, you know kind of a being forced to do this. It can actually become part of the design sometimes. So if you have any questions, you could uh, put them in the comments or comments in there that about things that I screwed up again. Uh, but I think this time I've got it right. So good luck.